Web LLM is changing how AI runs in your browser, but what exactly it is, let's break it down. So Web LLM or Web Based Large Language Model lets you run AI models directly in your browser without cloud servers or external APIs. It's powered by Web GPUs and Web Assemblies, making it fast and efficient. Now it uses Web GPU for parallel processing, accelerating AI computation instead of sending requests to a remote server. WebLM runs everything locally, enhancing privacy and reducing latency. So what does this matter? So the privacy, first thing I would talk about, no data leaves your device. Speed, yep, no network delays. Accessibility, you can work offline. And no cloud hosting fees means the lower cost. So WebLM can power chatbots, code editors, and even AI-powered assistants. So as WebGPU evolves, we will see how powerful AI in browser will be. Well, implementing WebLM in your website is also very straightforward. You can install npm package, this command install web LLM package using npm. This package allows you to run LLMs in the browser without requiring a server or cloud-based API. This method used when working in an environment that supports ES modules like, like modern JavaScript applications, it imports all the functionalities of web LLM under the web LLM namespace. Now, this is an alternative way to load web LLM dynamically from CDN. It is useful for browser-based application where you don't want to install the package locally. Now, here the Llama 3.18b is the name of the model we want to load. WebLM supports multiple models and this one is quantized version of Llama 3.1 with 8 billion parameters. Now in this code, create MLC engine select model option, initialize the LLM engine with the selected model. Init progress callback is a function that logs process updates while the model loads. While log level info enables logging for debugging and status update, once the engine is initialized, it is ready to process text input. In this code, this defines a conversation history. The system role sets the model's behavior like telling it what is an assistant and the user role represents the actual input given by us humans. Now generating a response is pretty simple. The chat.completion.create message sends the conversation history to the LLM and generate a response. Reply.choices extracts the model's reply and the reply.users logs taken uses. Helpful for performance monitoring.